A little bit of a problem here. This is my friend's log splitter. And, well, that's a flat tire. So, um, yeah, we're gonna fix this. Ready? Let's go. Both of these tires are super flat. My concern is that maybe it's, um, the tires might have dry rot, we'll find that out. But first I just wanna get this thing in the air and get the tires off. Oh, this is just, well, that's paint. <laughs> um, so to get these off, this cap here has to come off. And then there's a nut, I think it's called a king nut sometimes, is under there holding this onto the axle. So in a perfect world, a vice grip and holding the tire. Hold on. So this cap separates right here. So I'm gonna try and use my screwdriver to get that out. Ah, look at that, nice. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. That's our king nut. It works every once in a while. Huh? It works. Oh, I'm talking to the camera. Oh. <laughs> every once in a while it works. And um, I mashed my finger. Kind of hurts. Oh, um, new camera. I'll link to it below. But um, it gives a different view. So this is a cotter pin. Unbend it and pull it out. This is kind of bent around, not in a beautiful way. So then you take your needle nose, put it in the loop of the cotter pin, and hit it like that. So we're two for two. We got the cap off and the cotter pin off. Can we get the nut off? Don't let this fall in the dirt, okay? Don't forget to put on your gloves. Um, you know, these things. So uh, I'm gonna run inside my friend's house and just wash my hands real quick. There's a washer in here we wanna be careful of. I'm just gonna pop this out. Did you notice I just washed my hands and I forgot to put my gloves on? Yeah, welcome to my world. Look at that. These are roller bearings, which uh, signals a high quality trailer. This, well, in a perfect world, it slides right off, right? The tension. All right, the tire's off. Let's get the other one off. This one's in a little better shape. It's awfully loose too, you know? The screwdriver has, it's essentially a wedge. Wow. Ta-da. I think it's just stuck on the seal. That's wild. They usually just pop off. There we go. The bearing, um, the roller bearing is stuck on the shaft, so I'll have to work with that. There we go. I don't know if you can see that, but this has a number on it, so I can go to my local auto parts store, hopefully cross-reference that number, and get a bearing and the seal. Who is this? Are my helpers here? Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Hi, come on. Let's go fix this. Let's go. Okay, for this, they're leaving the shot. Sorry, uh, two big screwdrivers and a pipe. So the goal here is to get the rim of the tire on the outside of the rim of the wheel. And I use two screwdrivers. I'm just gonna go through it and you can learn by watching.
Basically, we've got to get it inside the rim because it's right up on the edge here so it can loosen up. Flip it over. Do the same thing on the other side. So we see how we've got the first part there. So now we put the second screwdriver in here to hold that and we work this down here a little farther down and we bring more of the tire over the rim. Sometimes you can leave the two screwdrivers. Okay, I could hold that there and then go over here and lift that up. At this point, we're at the halfway point here, so it becomes really easy to do this. Water, yeah, water and tires don't mix, so we're gonna wipe this out. Hold on, where's the, I have a rag. Yeah, so we wanna get this dry. Moisture in a tire is a bad thing. Uh, I'm getting crud all over my clean floor. I'm gonna go wipe this outside. I just took this out of here. Uh, so someone sprayed that sealant gunk in here, which I'm not a fan of. Now I gotta get this, rid of this gunk. But um, we gotta take that valve out because the inner tube valve is gonna come through there. And I can get to that. We're basically, well, I'll just show you. Let me get rid of the gunk. Always cut away from you, not toward you. If you're cutting toward you, you can cut into you, which is a bad thing, right? There we go. On the side of your tire will be some numbers. So go to the store and get the appropriate inner tube, replacement inner tube for this tire. I'm trying to get the valve in. It's kind of hard to show. All right, we're gonna hold the we're gonna hold the valve and then tuck this in. And that sounds simple, but um, once you get it, it's like butter. So this last part right there, you see how the valve hole here is on the side instead of coming straight out the the center of the wheel hub. Well, that kind of tube, that kind of tire, needs what's called an offset tube, and. Uh, no, I didn't get those. I got straight valve tubes and that was my mistake because I put them in and the straight valve tube goes straight out the center of the tube and offset tube, the valve comes off the side of the inner tube. Learn from me. And these are kind of hard to find. Um, the three auto parts stores near me did not have them. I had to order this online. So um, this project's becoming lengthier. We're going to get this done anyway. Offset tube, offset rim. Nice. Crease it up a little bit because that's just what I like to do. I can do this, you can do it. Yeah, you get a little hic hiccup sometimes. You're like, oh, I forgot to do that thing, but welcome to my world. You wanna spend some more time together? You and I, there's probably a video floating right here. Something you might like to watch. I'll see you in the next video.